Good morning, colleagues. How are you? We're good. Okay. Hey. Okay. Today is our um, final production meeting before we actually deploy these fall welcome events in a virtual format. I hope everyone's had a chance to look at the fall welcome schedule. If you haven't, you know you can find it at fallwelcome.msu.edu. Alana, we're going to start with you. So can you share um, who you are, where you're from? Of course. Thanks, Tammy. Hello, everyone. My name is Ilana Levy. I serve as the coordinator for our fraternity and sorority life community here at Michigan State. We will be hosting our annual fall event called Greek Fall Welcome, which will be happening on September 3rd. So mark your calendar September 3rd on Easy Virtual Fair. We have 62 fraternities and sororities within our community, and this is the one-stop shop to meet them all. There is no restriction to joining, even though we're online. So whether you're in East Lansing or you're at home, you can absolutely still join the fraternity sorority community. And it's an absolutely amazing way to stay engaged. And if you want to learn more information, check out our website or check out our Instagram even more. So at MSU Greek Fall Welcome and at Grow Greek MSU for all of the updates. Fabulous. Thank you so much. I didn't see your cat today. Say hello to Holly. Nope, he's not here for it today. Yes, he's <laughs> not having it today. He's not having it. <laughs> <laughs> not here for it. Jeremy, if you could share your report on whatever events you have. I'm Jeremy Whiting. I'm the general manager at Impact 89 FM. It's uh, the campus student radio station. So we're based out of Holden Hall. And we have a staff of over 200 students doing everything in music, news, and sports. So for Fall Welcome, we always have a big presence. And this year, even though we're virtual, it's an even bigger presence because we have three big events that we're co-hosting. On Friday, August 28th, it's the Sparty Basement Kickback. We're going to have two hours of fantastic local music spanning all genres from 6 to 8 p.m. on Friday night. Uh, and you can listen to that on the air at 88.9 FM or on the, online at impact89fm.org. And then we have our Spartan Virtual Dance Party. That's a few days later on Monday, August 31st. Uh, that's going to be a fun event. We're looking at music from all across the genres. Tammy, I know you've been a big planner with this. We're hoping people are dancing uh, virtually all across the world as uh, our student DJs uh, played a fun mix. And then finally, uh, this is a brand new event that, uh, you know, the uh, Women's Student Services has put on for the first time this year called FemFest. And uh, we're happy to be partnering with them for a FemFest concert. So that's Friday, September 4th at 7 p.m. We have a lot of great musicians lined up. That is a fantastic lineup. Let me go to um, Eric. All right, we got Sparty Smarty Trivia uh, live, which will be Sunday, August 30th, starting at 9 p.m. We'll have three rounds of trivia, special guests, and prizes. We hope everyone will join us for some Smarty Sparty Trivia or Sparty Smarty Trivia, depending on which way you want to say it. And we will be doing that live on Zoom. Can you give us a, a, a preview of who you have that, that's um, going to be doing a cameo? Maybe a certain mayor. We have a couple of student leaders who will be on there. We have uh, Vice President Dr. Maybank. Our questions will be uh, based on uh, MSU history, uh, MSU traditions, also Michigan trivia, pop culture, and a little bit of potpourri. So a little bit of everything. Next up, can we go to um, uh, Angelina? Hi, everyone. My name is Angelina. I am a graduate assistant working with Fall Welcome and Leadership Development. This year, I'll be hosting a virtual Spartan scavenger hunt on Sunday, August 30th. That's this upcoming Sunday. And to participate, just tune into the MSU Department of Student Life Facebook page, where I'll be posting scavenger hunt content every 30 minutes between 9 a.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Most of the items can be found around your home, but there can only be three winners. So check our Facebook page often and try to upload photos of items that you found as quickly as you can. Good luck, and I'll be checking in with you all next Sunday. Back to you, Tammy. Okay, so now, um, Angelina, can you share maybe one or two items that are going to be posted? So if anybody watches this video, we have a little bit of a chance. Mm. Give them maybe one or two, whatever you want to do, just give them one or two. <laughs> An example might be two black socks or seven pennies. You have to find seven pennies, take a photo, 
post it in the comments section and whoever posts the photo first is the winner of that scavenger hunt fine now you making stuff hard you know we got a coin shortage so if you find <laughs> seven pennies you're doing something Ian, can you share what's happening in the land of cog council of graduate students my name is Deanne Arking and I'm the business office manager for the Council of Graduate Students or COGS and on August 29th starting at 8 30 in the morning you will attend the virtual um, graduate school welcoming and resource fair there will be lots of resources that are important to graduate students and COGS will be there we'll have a virtual booth and then on Monday on August 31st starting at 7 p.m. We hope you'll join your graduate and professional student peers for a virtual trivia night that COGS is hosting along with Trivia Hub Live. You can come and virtually meet new people and play for a chance to win um, really fun prizes. And then on Tuesday, September 1st, um, we hope you'll join us for a virtual game night starting at 6 p.m. There will be a variety of Jackbox games and several breakout rooms for students to play in smaller groups and get to know one another. One lucky winner can win a prize pack from Impact Radio. And you can check out all this on our website, cogs.msu.edu. If you have any questions, you can email us at office at cogs.msu.edu. We can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for that report. Like I said, they have, they have all kinds of things going on. So we appreciate you providing that information to us. Um, Heather, if we could go to you. And Hi, everyone. My name is Heather Shea. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm the director of Women's Student Services, which is housed in the Student Life Suite. We're really excited. We have four different events during Fall Welcome, um, all called FemFest. So FemFest is a celebration of feminism in the arts. And it's a collaboration between Women's Student Services, the Women's Council, and Impact Radio, as well as other organizations. First one is going to be this Friday, where this is a, a collaborative event that's happening between Women's Student Services and KEGEG, which is the Coalition of Gender Equity Groups. We have a whole bunch of different organizations that will be there to share a little bit about the ways that you can get involved. And then on the second, we have a guided visual art tutorial. We're providing students with materials, which they can come and pick up from a Dropbox, which is going to be over in Student Services Building. So follow us on Instagram, which is the probably the best way to get all the information that you need about what's happening during FemFest. We're working with a writing center to talk about poetry and slam poetry in particular. And then Friday is our virtual concert, which Jeremy already talked a little bit about, which I think will be an awesome opportunity to showcase several different artists who um, focus their music on feminism. So I think we're up now to um, Brian. I think it's the next report. I know you have requested to show, sort of showcase that, that deadly snakes are not really that deadly and you wanted them to be able to wrap themselves around people's bodies while they were live. And so legal said that wasn't going to work because if one of the snakes gets aggressive and, you know, harm somebody while they're on that um, live feed, that might not be a good look. You know, I, I tried everything. I even said, you know, could we just maybe just do one snake? And he said, no. So if you could extend our apologies for that not being approved, I'd appreciate it. You know, no major loss with the snakes for me, so that's perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I thought you'd be okay with that. So, Brian, can you share who you are and whatever report you want to share with your event? Yes. Hi, friends. So uh, my name is Brian Hercliffe Proffer. I use he, him, his pronouns, um, and I am currently serving as the uh, assistant director for registered student organizations and late night programming. So I am working with Participation, the huge uh, student organization involvement fair. Participation will be hosted for three days, uh, August 31 through September 2nd. We'll be on virtual easy fair with uh, help from our friends from Career Services who are letting us use the platform. So students can log in, visit all of the booths from our 400 um, plus student organizations and campus partners across campus um, and they can live chat with them. Um, some of them are having some events during the event, during participation and whatnot like that. And that's all five to eight for those three days. Students, if you are not able to make that time, you can peruse those booths 
any time through those three days. Um, there just won't be a live chat function to it. But the key thing is students need to register. So we are going to be marketing the registration link for spartans.easyvirtualfair.com. Register with your MSU ID, uh, your username, uh, an email, and then it will log you into the MSU uh, Easy Virtual Fair uh, component. And then that's where you're also going to log in for the event. For everyone who pre-registers, uh, we are going to draw every day for a prize from one of our great sponsors for, from Sparticipation. So the sooner you get in um, and pre-registered, the sooner you can possibly start winning prizes. So, so other than that, that's kind of all the deets. During our fall welcome period, we're hosting Spartan Spectacular. And Spartan Spectacular is an all-encompassing event that features participation, features the fall welcome Spartan Spectacular kickoff. We also will have a Spartan showcase where we'll showcase different talent for different students. And we'll also have um, our traditional Spartan Spirit event that um, features the coaches and all of the band and all of that. And, and everything will be virtual, but we'll try to morph it as close to the regular experience as possible. And then we will also host a firework display. You go to fallwelcome.msu.edu. Once you go there, you go into the Fall Welcome website and it'll give you everything that we talked about today. As we always close out in Spartan, we appreciate you. Um, go green! Y'all have a great day. I'll talk with you soon. Bye! <laughs>